Big Collectibles, and we are gonna look at Alien Issue 8. I tell you right now, Issue 7, I was kinda, uh, I don't know. 7 was a lot better than what I thought it was gonna be, but I never judge a comic by its cover. We're gonna look at this Alien comic book story for Issue 8. See if it's worth your time. See, you know, it, it's definitely, the storyline has definitely got me enthralled in this. All right, if you like free stuff, join the free Discord. Link in the description. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into it. Alien Issue 1, you see that, I mean, sorry, Issue 8. You see the la Issue 7, that spaceship that was bringing supplies landed on that terraformed planet, okay? So, uh... And, and they it crash landed on the farm, so that's why. Hence, the cover is in a barn with the face hugger and the chickens. You know, what is gonna get on a chicken? I don't know. You never know what could happen. And then here we go. We see uh, some, you know, some tunes playing, and somebody. I'm sorry, not tunes, but pe people singing. It's a funeral. It was. It's for the the girl that. That was, uh, or the people that died on the spaceship that crash landed, and now the people, the community that were that was there to terraform the planet, start talking. They're like, "Oh, well, what's going to happen? Now we don't have any supplies for for years because are they going to send another ship?" And that's where what the dilemma is all about. And now the leader, she's like, "Enough! We can't be out here." She's telling everybody that she saw an alpha alien which they've heard of and read about in like books and she's like i saw one of them i'm telling you and they're they start telling her oh do you think that is because you're sick and now she's like super shocked she's like wait what how does anybody even know the only person that knows that i was sick that have this illness that you know deathly illness is my second command she talks to him in private and starts telling him, like, how dare you do this? And he's like, it was obvious to them. They knew what was going on because you you can't even barely walk. You're, you're super weak. And so he starts telling her, you know, he, he doesn't really believe her that she saw one of those. And she's like, look, you know what? This is death to anybody. She pretty much tells the whole community, stay inside, stay indoors. If you go outside, especially at night, you got to have four people and be weaponed, well, um, be armed, have weapons. So you already know, little rendezvous between these two, uh, they're up to no good. They're out in the middle of the night, and that's right, they're cheating with each other. They, they have, you know, mates, partners back home, and they just, they, they needed to link up. They go out to link up. Of course, the girls be like, oh, I don't know, we should be doing this. And he's like, ah, whatever, the leader, she, she doesn't know what she's talking about. She's crazy. And what do you know? The bottom pane, the bottom panel, you can see right there. Uh, man, straight alien through the chest. That alpha alien, and you can see right here, the top panel. What happens to his grill? His straight dome, his grill is gone. I tell you right now, my wife was to see this. Knowing what they were up to, she'd be like, that's what he deserves. And that, and she's about to get what she deserves, too. I'm telling you, but that's not how I feel. Just saying. And so, <laughs> and so, all right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Next morning, all right, we've got some MIAs. They spread goes the rumor. Word gets around. What do you know? They go looking. They find pieces of homeboy. Pieces. I mean, goodness gracious. That's rough. That is a bad morning. And so, obviously, everybody now is aware of the situation. They're hip to it. Now they're like, oh, okay, maybe she's right. <laughs> you know, so they start going out to uh, look for Becca, the girl that was um, w with Homeboy that they found in pieces. And the, uh, the second in command is Ambrose. Am Ambrose. And the leader of the community is Jane, okay? So leader is Jane. That's the girl there in the green jacket. And the, the dude, the second command is Ambrose. All right. So keep it moving. They go and they find some type of hive, some type of weirdness, like buried. And they find none other than Jane. And Jane there, she barely is coherent. And she says, I'm so sorry. I never meant to. I She's, she's sorry for what happened to Gunner, you know. And look. In the blue circle that I drew right there, you can see the alien comes up from behind and just straight divides 
that person in two. So that's where the fight ensues. I mean, girl, you got a bow and arrow. I mean, at least somebody there has a shotgun. And at, at the same time, the alien stabs uh, the girl in, in, in the head there. And so uh, Jane says, oh, run, get to the church. Come on, come on, move. Everybody's like running away. Uh, you got Somebody's got a handgun. Yeah, whoa. And so you see, you, you were, that's how crazy this comic book is. You like get thrown into the story. And then so, so Jane makes it back to her house and over there or, or the church. And what do you know? Ambrose is got her in a trap. She put some alien eggs in there, grabs her by the throat and tells her, I'm as strong as I ever was. And you can see right there, he's a synthetic. This has been a setup from Rip. He lays her down right next to the eggs. Let's see. This is the end of this issue. We'll see what happens in the next one. You can see the face hugger start coming out of that egg. All right, everybody. You know the deal. Good luck in all your collectible decisions. Let them all be profitable and dope.